Hey, what's up guys? It's Samir from BSC Tech. Today's video is about Huawei's Mate 20 Pro. If you own one of these devices, then definitely you are aware that this phone is missing uh, the double tap to screen uh, wake up function. In today's video, I'm going to explain four different ways which will help you uh, sort this problem. Uh, moving forward, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the bell icon so you get all the upcoming notifications. Additionally, I will be explaining uh, two key features uh, which will be very helpful for your day-to-day -day operations. So keep watching the video till the end and stay tuned. So guys, as you know that uh, the Mate 20 Pro does not come with uh, the double tap to wake up a screen function. Uh, for that, uh, you are already using uh, uh, the first method which is basically your power button super easy no drama no lags and no problem whatsoever uh, moving forward towards uh, the second tip actually uh, that is basically a uh, race to uh, wake up your screen uh, you can go into your accessibility section uh, I am using Android 10 as you can see on my screen this is Android 10 if you are using Android 9 uh, and you can't find that option in the accessibility section then uh, you can come back here and simply type uh, wake in the search area and that will show you a couple of options and then you have uh, wake device as you can see that we have already enabled this feature in the raise section uh, all you have to do is enable this section and then lock your screen uh, you might get used to this uh, after some time but this is super easy guys and uh, it takes a split second in order to wake your screen so you don't have to reach out every time uh, for your power button in order to wake your screen and check your notifications the third tip is uh, you can use the voice command and you can come back into the search settings and type voice and uh, key for the voice control uh, uh, and voice wake up uh, segment click on this area and as you can see on the top right uh, top hand side we have an option called uh, voice wake up when you enable this then you will see different subcategories in this uh, under the wake up segment we have a wake up phrase uh, the standard or the built-in uh, basically command is set to okay me but we have used a custom one which you can uh, use a custom or a unique wake up phrase uh, based on your accent and uh, then uh, you can uh, lock your screen and try this Hey buddy, as you can see the screen has woken up. Hey buddy, okay we will try from different angles just to see that how accurate it is. Hey buddy, yes that should work fine. And from here you can use different categories in order to search for a specific contact in your contact book or to call somebody. Uh, the last feature on this segment is basically you can use Google Assistant. In order to use that you have to download it first from the Google Play Store. And uh, once it's downloaded on your phone you can go through the basic setup and then come back. Lock your screen and say hey Google. This is super fast guys this is much better than the first one the voice control one this is basically another voice control option but uh, basically uh, this is directly uh, optimized with the, the Google apps and this is more convenient and super easy and it gives you a lot of other options as well hey Google from here you can uh, reach out to your phone and uh, enter your uh, uh, thumbprint or uh, the face unlock option in order to unlock your device so these were the key features guys in order to wake your screen up on your Huawei's Mate 20 Pro uh, and uh, as a bonus tip I'm going to show you two features uh, the first one is basically a one-handed operations if you have small hands and this phone uh, seems to be too big for you then you can enable this feature as you can see that uh, we have in this section that uh, we have a one-handed mode instead of using uh, uh, the three keys feature this is easy uh, you can use three key features you can use them and uh, pick and choose them but uh, basically this is more comfortable for me that all you have to do is to swipe uh, left or right on the bottom side of your screen and uh, that will basically enable a single handed operation as you can see that the screen size has reduced to almost four inches so this is more comfortable when you want to do multitasking and uh, you want to use your phone on the go and uh, when you swipe from right to left this will basically bring the actual screen size back to the original uh, uh, LCD display and then this can uh, enable or disable this so that was first part guys and the second additional tip is basically 
Uh, as you know that you can take screenshot by holding the power and the volume down button for a second and that will quickly take a screenshot but uh, there's another method which you can use and if you type screenshot in your settings section that will take you to this page and uh, you can look for uh, the take screenshot section in this subcategory you can enable the smart assistant as you can see on screen this is giving you some gesture based uh, options uh, the first one is basically you have to uh, make a round circle on your screen with your knuckle you can't use your finger that will not uh, help you enable basically uh, this is a special design feature for uh, mate 20 pro which uh, basically allows you to use your knuckle in order to take uh, a screenshot of a specific area in a round or shape or a rectangle shape or triangle or whatever shape you want uh, but uh, if you want uh, to take screenshot of the whole screen you can just double tap on the screen that will take a quick screenshot that was it for today's video about Huawei's Mate 20 Pro guys uh, I hope uh, this video has helped you out in a different ways uh, thumbs up subscribe to my channel and share this video stay tuned I'll bring more videos to you till then take good care of yourself have a good day bye bye